All right, uh, let me introduce us. Uh, hey, everybody. I'm Jim Schneider, and this is my this is my legitimate podcast called Work in Progress, where I talk to my friends about the work they do and why they do it and the challenges they face at work and their hopes and dreams, uh, et cetera. And I'm very happy today to be joined by two friends of mine, Kendall Morris and Tyler Morris. Uh, I met Kendall and Tyler in Korea while I was stuck in Seoul and they were teaching English. Uh, and now uh, all of us have left, we've all moved on, and we're in Vienna, Austria. That's right, yeah, thanks for having us out here. Yeah, thanks yeah, for uh, flying pleasure. us out. It's, it's a pleasure for us to be on here with you. So It's a tax write-off. Yeah, of course, yeah, that's um, why we're here. Yeah, we're actually here for our friend's wedding, our friend Josh, and I, I want to explain that that's why I'm wearing a Nebraska Cornhuskers mm. shirt. I'm not usually dressed in Cornhusker yeah. gear. But it looks good on you. you yeah, it does. Great. Yeah, you're at Lesker. Yeah, well, anything looks good on you. Yeah, hi, really. Bailey. Uh, all right, so we're talking about work, sure. right? What you guys do, and I mentioned you were teachers in Korea, as was I for a long time. But now you're not in Korea anymore. You're where? We are back in the states. We are in the state of Georgia mm. right now. Home state, right? Home state. Um, you're a bulldog. Yep, and a brave fan. So oh, can, okay. Uh, catch the gear. They won the series in 2021. They did. And who, uh, but not last year. Not last year. Did yeah. not win last year. Okay. It was a loss. Big old loss. Did they play in the series? No, last we year? lost in the NLCS last year. Oh, all right. So, but this is our year. You know what they? You said they're they're kicking ass. Yeah, we're pretty good this yeah. year. So yeah. so hoping for another one. But I'd be just fine if we didn't win. You know, I just like the sport. They'll win again so, eventually. Yeah, yeah. Right. All right. One day. Yeah, one day. So, you, are you both from Athens, Georgia? I'm from Athens. I'm from Gainesville, Georgia. Which is... There's a Gainesville, Georgia. It is. It's actually oh. the chicken capital it of is. America. The is it really? capital of the world. Of the world. Of the world. So, uh, what's the company there? Because it's not it's Tyson. Just, it's bunches. Of, it's just um, pretty the much Tyson business. just contracts all these. They don't have oh, their own okay. chicken houses. The growers are just contracted. Okay, so it's the growers. So it's yeah. like the number of chickens per capita right. is the highest. That's there. Right. All right, cool. Um, are, are Gainesville and Athens close? They're about 45, 45 minutes, minutes. Yeah, not too far. Mm -hmm. All right. Walking distance. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a long that's walk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe an e-bike would be right. more efficient. Um, and then you two met, so husband and wife, right? Yeah. Your husband yeah. and wife. And you guys met at uh, University of Georgia. At the University yeah. of Georgia. Yeah. So two bulldogs. That's right. And then um, what was your next move like? How did you end up in, how did you end up teaching English in Korea? Um, what, let's see. We took a year off after graduating um, and then did some traveling, and then I had always wanted to teach abroad. Mm -hmm. And then we met, and he said, oh, well, I'll do that too. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we got an agency to help us find a school, and then we moved to Thailand. Right, right. And you could get certified and teach there, so we just moved to Thailand. But we always wanted to teach in Korea. Yeah, we heard you mm -hmm. can make more money in Korea. Yeah. We were like, well, we're all about them ducats. Yeah, paper know? chasers, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, we're paper chasers. <laughs> but, so, well, then why did you start in Thailand? It was just easier, and you needed less qualifications. Oh, right. and you so, so you had to get the cer certification right. mm -hmm. yeah. before you could start teaching. Right. Okay. Uh, it's kind of similar to my story with teaching as well. My girlfriend at the time wanted to go teach abroad, <laughs> and I was like, yeah. oh, sure, yeah, yeah that sounds, sounds good. Yeah. But then we broke up. She stayed in the U.S., and I went anyway. Oh. Yeah. Um, Where'd you, where was your first stop? Where did you first Prague. go abroad? Okay, Czech that's Republic. right. Yeah. Yeah. So I did what you did in Thailand, basically. Yeah. I got my certification, and then I stayed in Prague to teach for a little while. And then I also heard that you know you could make more money in Korea, right. and I'd never been to Asia at that time, so uh, it seemed like a great opportunity to you know see a new place yeah. and mm -hmm. maybe travel around Asia a little bit and uh, just become more world mm. savvy. Sure. Um, so how long did you stay in Thailand? Almost two. We were in Thailand for almost two years, and then uh, we went home to get married. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so our parents would have been mad, you know, if we had done that abroad. Yeah. Went home to get married, and then we were back 
back at it, went to Korea and there for almost six years. Wow, you guys were there that long. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Wow. Well, it was one of those things everyone does. They're like, I think I'll leave next year. Yeah. You know, and you do that four years in a row. Yeah. Well, and then, like, you know, the pandemic hit, and so we, like you, couldn't, couldn't go anything, anywhere. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys never left and then came back. No, we were just, we just stayed we were there. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people leave, and they think right. they're done with it, yeah. and then they miss it they when they get home. Back. Brings yeah. them back in, yeah. Um, did you uh, did you start working in Seoul or somewhere mm -hmm. else? Yeah, we did. Our first job was in East Seoul in Songpa, the, the huge outdoor market uh, area. Songpa. 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 Yeah. So we were there for a year, and we moved to Gangnam. We were there for about four years. Were you in that same apartment for yep. about four years? Yep. Oh, four. that's yeah. great. Four or five yeah. years. Yeah. Lots of good friends lived in that apartment uh -huh. building too over the years. Great yeah. rooftop. So great rooftop. We got really lucky. Mm -hmm. Our landlord was awesome. He was so nice. Yeah. And you really made a, a home there too. Yeah. You got the grill going on the yeah. rooftop and Some rooftop parties. Yeah. Because yeah. it's not easy to do that when you're living abroad yeah. sometimes, you know? You yeah, we got really lucky with our community that, that we had and we were able to establish there. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. So, yeah. yeah. And I was lucky to meet you guys, yeah. Yeah, obviously, you and then yeah. your circle of friends as well. Yeah. Uh, so you left Korea just last year, 2022 or yeah, like 2022? Yeah, 2022 um, in, in March. March. Um, went home. You know, folks are getting older. Yeah. Family's getting older. Yeah. Haven't seen them for a long time. So. Yeah, that's a big reason why I left China yeah. as well. I wanted to, I missed the family. And after the pandemic, mm -hmm. I've sort of felt like I was missing out on. Yeah, know, that's exactly right. our. I think I feel like a lot of people had a similar, you know, situation. So. Yeah, the pandemic's over though. I'm feeling ready to go. Yeah, that's, that's how we're feeling. We're getting antsy, looking <laughs> yeah. for our next uh, next stop. But mm -hmm. we've enjoyed our time. I'm really close with my grandparents, and they live nearby us. So we, mm -hmm. you know, they're both 90 years old. We go hang out oh, with wow. them and just they're talk and have a good time all the time. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, they're like our best friends where we live. That's awesome. So, well, so tell me about your situation now. You said you're back in, in your hometown, or your home state at least yeah. of Georgia. Mm -hmm. And what are you guys doing now work-wise? Yeah, so um, we started a company um, where we live. When we lived in Korea, we would do private tutoring for a lot of individuals that worked at Samsung, SK, Amazon, Coupon. Um, and we would do English tutoring. But one thing we realized is that they would constantly ask us questions about the cultural differences mm -hmm. um, between, they're like, hey, my coworker lives in America, and he's always saying this, I don't know what that means, you know, culturally. Um, so, um, right now there's a huge initiative in Georgia to bring a lot of um, specifically Korean companies to the area. Mm -hmm. um, so we're getting a huge influx of Korean companies moving there. So what we do, is we offer English tutoring, um, obviously, but we also offer uh, cultural orientations um, and kind of cultural training mm -hmm. for Americans and Koreans just to help them work together more efficiently if they can understand, like, hey, here's where I'm coming from, you know, um, culture-wise. I think it provides a lot of um, context. No, for sure, and it yeah. smooths out the process of getting acclimated to the, yeah. to the U.S. and yeah. also for uh, Americans, uh, you know, working with people from a different right. cultural yeah. background, right? Yeah. Uh, that's very cool. So what are some of the companies that are coming over? You mentioned SK, I think. Yeah, so SK is a big one, um, and we we worked with them for a good, a good little while, and... Um, SK, Hyundai is building several plants. Um, Kia. Kia was already there. But they're building more. They're, yeah. um, Kia was there already. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. There's another company called Duction, um, and they're building a facility in Athens. Mm -hmm. um, I think the end of this year they're supposed to start production. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's just tons of them. More and more coming over all the time. So. Wow. Well, what a good opportunity to take advantage of that for yeah. You know, considering you have that background. Yeah. It is crazy, like, the coincidence of it all happening, that we were moving back to the States. And before we even moved back, Tyler's granddad had cut out, like, a clipping of a newspaper mm -hmm. and took a picture of it and emailed it to him. <laughs> and was like, hey, like...
like, hey, this is a Korean company. You guys yeah. can work for them. And um, we're like, no, we're not going to do that. Yeah. And then we end up moving into their old farmhouse. Oh, and cool. And literally like seven minutes down the road is the big SK factory. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah. So we're like, well, it, Let's try to email them. <laughs> so what's the name of the company that you set up? So our company is called Han and Morris. Yeah. Um, yeah. Han and Morris. Find us online. Find us anywhere you you can. Instagram? Can we find you on yeah, Instagram? Yeah, we're on Instagram as well. Instagram. TikTok? Uh, we're not on TikTok. You know, I, not I'm, not, uh, I, I'm not really into dancing, so <laughs> yeah. I feel like I can't be in that medium. But maybe one day, you know, I'm not writing it off. Okay. Are you yeah. on TikTok? No. Yeah. No. No, I did set up an account, I yeah. think, or no, I downloaded the app, but I haven't set anything. Okay. Out. Yeah, because I'm not. I need some dancing classes yeah. too before I get yeah. started. Um, all right. Well, you get a website, obviously. Yeah, we do. Han and Morris. Dot com. Dot right. com. Mm -hmm. And then Instagram. Instagram ESL with Han and Morris. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can put links to that stuff in yeah. the video yeah. description below. So. Uh, the website, the Instagram, do you have a Facebook thing? Do you use that? We do have a Facebook. We don't use it very often. Um, on our website, we also give like book recommendations for families that have kids, mm -hmm. you know, for mm -hmm. six to eight years old or nine, nine to 11 eight. years old or so on. Because we get that question a lot from families that we work with. Mm -hmm. are, and are you teaching kids too as part of yeah, your Yeah, so we, we try to do the whole, the whole family, um, the kids, the wives, the the dads that work at the, the facilities, mm -hmm. so we try to... All-inclusive. That's right. All, yeah, all it's a package, you know, yeah. all-inclusive package. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah, that's uh, the stars really aligned for that then. Right? Yeah, big time. Um, so what's your plan with it? What do you, because you mentioned getting antsy, maybe wanting to go somewhere else. Do you have uh, ambitions to go abroad again somewhere, or what would you like to Well, to ideally, someone will give us a bunch of money and to buy our company. You're looking at me like I'm gonna yeah. do it, but I, I don't have and, the uh, But no, we have no, uh, no hard plans, just feel like there's more to see out there and we like to enjoy a new culture and, and a, new, a new setting. Mm -hmm. Where would you go if you could pack up and go teach or work somewhere else, where would you like to be? I feel like anywhere. Yeah, we, it, there's really no ideal spot, I think, just anywhere that, really anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we haven't lived in Europe yet, I guess. Mm -hmm. So that would be a, you no, know, that's a large area. But and we're here now. We're in yeah. Vienna, Austria, yeah. as I mentioned before. So, um, European lifestyle is yeah. not so bad. Yeah, it's you know we didn't, we're enjoying walking around again. You know, in America, we don't <laughs> yeah. really get that chance to do a lot of Walk walking. Anywhere, yeah. Um, so yeah. so that's great. Something we've missed. And and definitely something I missed from uh, living in, in both Korea right. and China as well. There is a lot more walking, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas yeah. in, the, in the U.S. we're much more car yeah, dependent. Yeah, just drivers, yeah. riders. What are some of the other like cultural differences that you have noticed or that you address um, yeah. with your clients? Well, one of the biggest ones that we talk about specifically business-wise is in America, small talk is so important for, you know, before a meeting, everyone kind of chats and you want to mm -hmm. kind of get to know a person you're about to do business with and yeah. Koreans are not they don't well I feel like also particularly in Georgia like in the south it's mm -hmm. a lot more um, I guess prevalent like even if you go to the grocery store someone in my yeah, and, and the person just... behind you someone in line they might be yeah. like oh hey like so you got the cheeses <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I like those too yeah whereas I feel like a lot of <clears throat> countries that we've worked with in Asia, it's not, it's not so, you're not so forward with everyone all the time. Yeah. Um, so that's a big one that we, that we touch on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As a, you know, as a foreigner living in Korea or China, occasionally uh, people would talk yeah, to me. Right. That, that was more out of curiosity. Yeah. I, I could always, I mean, I also uh, understood that that's not a super common occurrence, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, okay. Yeah, that's a really interesting job. So you're, yeah. you know, consultants in a way, teachers. Yeah, right. Yeah. A little bit, yeah. I mean, we also, if, um, I don't know, sometimes our students 
uh, will ask about certain emails or something that happened in the meeting mm -hmm. or an idiom that they heard or an expression. Right. Um, so they need the clarification. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. And like some basic like understanding of like where that idiom came from. Mm -hmm. um, or why they get called sweetheart in the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Georgia would be big on that. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. So you hear word what what other kinds of uh, you know yeah. terms sweetheart. You get a lot of sugars, you get a lot Sugar, of yeah. you get Well what's the weirdest thing when we first moved back is like just driving around, people wave at you and Kendall's like, Oh, do you know that guy? I'm like, No. Yeah. She's just just people the, are just waving at basic, everybody. You know. Right. At a stop sign yeah. or anything, yeah. I do that when I drive past someone in my neighborhood. Yeah. Neighborhood, yeah. yeah. You might not know them personally, but yeah. Or if you know one of us does the other one a, a favor, right. right? Oh, you go ahead. Yeah, yeah of course. Hello. Okay. <laughs> um, and Georgia's a y'all state. Oh, right? big time. There's a lot of y'all. So, oh, I really push that one too. Yeah. If you want to really ingrain yourself in, in Georgia as a, as someone not from there, if you hit them with some y'all, yeah. you're in. We definitely go through yeah. a few slang words. Yeah, we do. You know, ain't. reckon a lot of. Uh, hey, you reckon? What was this? What was the second one you said? Ain't. Oh, ain't. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. Ain't. Yeah. Y'all yeah. ain't. Yonder. Yeah, over yonder. Yeah. yeah. There's there's a few that that we get questioned on a lot. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. I Bless like that. Heart. Yeah, over yonder. Heart. Yeah, over <laughs> yonder. There's some good ones. Some weird ones. But. What's uh What's the weirdest one? Would you say? Um, I don't well, know. Over, sweet, sweetheart would be yeah, a that, one. I think over yonder is a, a weird, or if you talk to a lot of older people in where we live, they like to put R's on the end of everything. Like oh. in, instead of window, they'll say winder. Winder. Really? Yeller. <laughs> that yeller winder over yonder. Oh, yeah. So if you don't know that and you're trying to understand someone, I don't have any idea of any be, of those words. That would be baffling. Yeah. 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 Well... I guess that makes me think of Old Yeller. Yeah. Right? The, yeah. the dog, was that a yellow dog? Yeah, it was yellow a yellow lab. dog. Oh. Mm -hmm. Was that set in, is that a Georgia No, setting? I think that one's out west, I believe. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Who wrote that? Uh, I believe it was uh, John Williams. Was it John Williams? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Well, you really know your, your my, dog uh, fiction. Yeah. <laughs> Canine fiction. Yeah. Uh, very cool. So do you want to keep, well, yeah, you mentioned maybe working to the point where you can sell the business and then, yeah, you know. Just cruising. Thunderstorm, tornado of, of dollar dollar bills. <laughs> yeah, isn't that what everybody wants? Right? Yeah. Just someone, hey, here's a bunch of money. Yeah. Go do you. I'd like to get swept up in that. Yeah. Uh, and then w do you have any other, like, career goals or Things you want to chase, aspirations, places you want to live, companies you want to start. We we really don't dream that big. Mm. We yeah, just... we're small <laughs> dreamers. Like next week, let's get pizza. <laughs> so one day at a time. Yeah, yeah. right. But we we know we don't want to be in the area we're in forever. Uh -huh. Right. Um, so that's really as far as we've made it. Like. We're taking this time now to kind of look and research areas that we might want to live in. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, we, we don't have any set plans. Yeah. Just kind of. We got like a hundred things that would, like, oh, that would be nice. Or that mm -hmm. would be well, let's fun. Let's try this. But, yeah. yeah. But I, I mean, I assume the first priority is to do the best you can with the business that yeah. you started. And now. ideally, it's a situation where we can do that from any anywhere, right? Especially with the prevalency of online teaching and online. Mm -hmm you know, consulting and things like that, that yeah. kind of allows, you know, nomadic tendencies. And, yeah, and I did want to ask you that, actually. So you're uh, teaching uh, in person and online? Yeah, we do both. Okay. We, or we offer both. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, well, you know, I'll include all the links to your business yeah. and uh, social media yeah. stuff in the, in the video uh, description so people can check it out there. Uh, what do you guys know about Canada? Uh, I actually I know um, a, a great deal about Canada. Mm -hmm. One of my I know a lot of people from there, uh -huh. you know, and I make it a point to really get to know the people I'm around. Mm -hmm. So I've really studied, you know, a lot 
a lot about <laughs> Canada. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's very, very decent, though. Yeah. Um, I don't yeah. care to know the people around me, so I really don't <laughs> yeah. know much about Canada. Okay. I, I, um, but you also know a lot of Canadians. Yeah, I do. Right. At least I just two don't or care three. about them. Yeah. No, I don't. They're yeah. Canadian. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to put your Canadian knowledge to the test. Good, yeah. All right. Are you ready for it? What, do you have some questions or what? Canadian trivia okay, questions. Okay, good. All right. I'm ready. Okay, Tyler, we'll start with you. Are I'm you ready. prepared? I think so. All right. So your um, your session of Canadian trivia mm -hmm. is all about whether or not people are Canadian or not Canadian. Okay, easy enough. So I'll give you uh, the name of a, a well-known person, a mm. celebrity, if you will. And you tell me if that person is Canadian okay. or not Canadian. Sure. Are you ready? I'm ready. Number one, Celine Dion, Canadian or not Canadian? Celine Dion is definitely Canadian. Final answer? That's my final. I believe she's from Quebec. Hmm, okay. Well, I can't verify that, but she is Canadian. <laughs> Number two, Jim Carrey, Canadian or not Canadian? Jim Carrey. Ooh, tough one, number two. Jim Carrey is Canadian, I, I believe. 100%? I'm 100%. I'm 100% sure. Final answer? Yeah. You're correct. Yeah. Jim okay, Carrey good. is Canadian. Look at that. Question three. Shania Twain, mm -hmm. Canadian or not Canadian? Shania Twain. Well, um, most people wouldn't think this because of you know her song style, mm -hmm. but she is very Canadian. You yeah. are very, very correct. Very Canadian. Yeah, very yeah. correct. Yeah, she's in, in the sort of the country music Yeah, the country right? genre. Okay, and her country happens to be Canada. Yeah. Uh, number four, William Shatner. Ooh, William Shatner. Canadian or not Canadian? You know, I'm pretty sure he's Canadian as well. You want to go with if it? I, I think I will, yeah. All right. You are... Correct. Okay. He's Canadian. Yeah, I knew William it. Shatner is, in yeah. fact, Canadian. All right. And final question here. Final celebrity. Hip-hop recording artist, Drake. Oh, I'll save the easiest one for last. Yeah, of course he's Canadian. Degrassi. He is Canadian. Yeah. You're correct. All yeah. right. All right. Big round of applause that. for you. Tyler Morris. Five out of five. Yeah. You, you really wow. do know a lot about yeah, Canada. Yeah, you know. You're correct. So you know a lot of Canadians personally. Have you ever been to Canada? I have personally been to Canada, yes. <laughs> where where else? Uh, I went to Moncton, New Brunswick. Uh, there was a hurricane up there, and I just wanted to check it out. So I went, uh, I rented a house right on the coast. Mm -hmm. um, true story. Mm -hmm. um, and I was evacuated from there. So um, didn't actually get to stay in the house that I had paid for, but yeah, yeah been. So are you one of those uh, weather chasers? Yeah, Storm chasers? just any type of weather. <laughs> I'll track it down. Paper well, chasers. Yeah, we're paper chasers. chasers. Paper chaser, storm weather chaser. Storm chaser. Yeah. Sunny weather chaser. Yeah. Or hide and go seek, you know? You chase them. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. All right, well, let's, uh, let's switch it up here, if we right. may. Can we get a seat switch? <laughs> Okay, and we're gonna do a little Canadian trivia with Kendall. Uh, how are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling pretty good, but you know, I don't really know much about Canada. Right. It's not where I'm from, so right. I just don't, you know. Not you don't very, care about it. Yeah, not why very, would you? Yeah. And Canadians are really known for being kind of rude and mean, mm -hmm. so we just kind of stay away from them. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Especially that one guy, yeah. that okay. neighbor of yours. Yeah. He knows who he is. <laughs> um, all he, right. he better not show his face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, let's go. Uh, let's get started here. Uh, Canadian trivia. Question one. I'm ready. 
Which Canadian city is considered Hollywood North? Hollywood North. It's got to be one of the big ones. So maybe not Moncton. No, probably not Moncton. Um, I'm going to go with Vancouver. Final answer? That's my final answer. You're correct. Yeah, but geographically it makes sense. A it lot of people sense. would choose a city like Toronto. Yeah. Toronto. Right? Yeah. But it's actually Vancouver. Yeah. Vancouver. All right, question two, one for one so far. Question two, how many points does the maple leaf on the Canadian flag have? Well, you know, actually, it used to be 13, mm -hmm. um, but they took two points away, mm -hmm. and that leaves us with 11. Final answer? That's my final answer. You are correct. Uh -huh. Yeah. Why did they take those two points away? Uh, well, it was actually really difficult for people to kind of figure out what the image was uh -huh. from a distance. Right. And it just kind of looked like a blurry blob. So, mm -hmm. yeah. you know. Very good. Yeah. So far, you know more about uh, Canada than you were letting on. <laughs> uh, even the minutia of the, the flag and the, the maple leaf. Okay. Very impressive. Question three. Which city is home to North America's largest mall? Hmm. Um, and this is a Canadian city. So it has about. to be in Canada, yeah. right? Right. Uh, I'm going to go with um, Edmonton, Alberta. Final answer? That's my final answer. Correct. All right. Correct. Very good. Three for three so far. Have you been there? Have you been in that mall? No, I have no. not been to that mall. I Sounds like it'd be fun. Yeah. Fun to go to. You have to make it a point to get up there and yeah. uh, do some shopping. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll have to. We'll see. But don't get lost. It's a, it's pretty yeah, large. It's pretty sizable. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Three for three so far. Question four. Which Canadian chain first opened in Hamilton in 1964? Oh, 1964. See, if you would have said 1963... Mm -hmm. I would have known, but this, um... 64. Is it Tim Hortons? It is, in fact, Tim Hortons. All right. All right. Oh, Very dude. impressive. Of course, everybody knows Tim Hortons, right. world famous for coffee and mm -hmm. Tim Bits and all those delicious yeah. uh, donut uh, snacks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. And question five. Final question. Okay. So far, I gotta say, you, you really have outperformed yeah, I'm, I'm my impressed. expectations given what you said about your, your knowledge of Canada. <laughs> um, but I am very impressed. Question five, final question Which city has the most restaurants per capita mm -hmm. in Canada? Um, is it uh, Victoria, British Columbia? It is, in fact, Ooh. Victoria, British Columbia. Do you happen to know how many restaurants uh, per thousand people? I feel like it's somewhere around four, four or five. I'm going to go with like 4.6, maybe 4.6 restaurants per 1,000 people. That's, that's actually exactly right. Oh. Yeah. Nice job. Yeah. Wow. For somebody who... You know, Claims I really just know. guessed on all the answers, too. That's crazy. <laughs> well, just, you know, made an educated guess. That's what yeah. we teach our students yeah. to do. You used right. your intuition. But uh, So he's been to Canada. Have you been to Canada? I did go on that trip. I did not chase the hurricane. Mm. Yeah, um, he's not a chaser, really. Mm -hmm. I let him do the chasing. D did you just watch it go by? I did. We did watch. Uh, we watched it go by, and we watched the... The house that he had paid for to stay in get flooded. Oh um, yeah, yeah, it was, it was pretty. It was great, really. You that know? sounds like a harrowing yeah, kind of was, situation. Was, pretty was, terrifying. Was pretty heroic of me. Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe you know, give Canada another chance. Yeah. We'll yeah. see. Go to yeah. one of those restaurants out there in yeah. uh, Victoria, right? Victoria. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, well, that's kind of. All we have to well, talk okay. about, unless uh, yeah. Thanks for having us on once again. Us. It's a, our pleasure to be here. Do you want to add anything before we sign off? Like do some math or <laughs> add some track. Yeah, yeah. no, Divide. I think I'm good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. Well, uh, thank you very much to Tyler yeah. and Kendall for uh, doing the podcast. It was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. 
And uh, do look at some of the links. Check out their website, Instagram page. Uh, like, subscribe, follow. Yeah, all those, uh, all those things. Comment yeah. and all of that stuff. And, or send uh, us an inquiry. If you got any inquiries, do you have any questions? Send yeah, if you need way. a lesson, yeah, right? If you need a lesson. Yeah, absolutely. If you're moving to Georgia, we got you. Or Korea, right? Or Korea. Or yeah. Korea. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, with that said, thank you. Thank you, guys. And uh, thank you. see you next time. I like to do kind of a long wave. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys. You did a really nice job. Did you have fun? That was fun. Yeah.